<laughs> I shouldn't be showing you this. Um, there is champagne. And usually, if we haven't eaten them all, there are strawberries. Um, my daughter stole the little tray because she was... Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina and welcome to my master bathroom. We've done a full tour of this space in the past, but today's is going to be a little bit more detailed. So I'll leave a link below if you're interested in the whole home renovation, because I know sometimes you guys will say, I didn't understand where was the actual like full tour. Well, this is going to be a much more detailed tour and we're going to talk about all the reasons why we created this kind of bathroom. Here at the House of Valentina, we love to bring a touch of adventure and magic to every single day. So if that's something that you're really into as well, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Otherwise, let's get started on this amazing tour. Now, if you are just tuning in, we are in the middle of our French week. I think this is so fun. I'm having the time of my life filming each of these videos. And it's just so fun to get to talk about the places that we've been and to be able to have these fun conversations. When we first bought this house, it does have a French country exterior. It just has that kind of feeling to it. But of course, we love Paris and we love Scandinavia. When it came time to actually start renovating this house, we knew that we wanted to have a space that felt like French country modern. Now, we hadn't defined it that way, and that's the funny thing. At the time, we had no idea that was what our style was. We just knew that we loved things that were modern, but we loved this French country style as well. So this bathroom is the epitome of those styles combined. It is definitely modern, but it is definitely French country, and it is definitely, it definitely has a ton of adventure in it. So where did we start? The funny thing is, is when we started, we had this huge tub in this corner and, it was cool like to my kids because it looked like a big swimming pool, but I just knew it wasn't, it wasn't clean, it wasn't well maintained, it needed to go. So when it came time to choose what was gonna go in this corner, there was nothing else that I wanted more than that French country clawfoot tub in that corner. I just knew that's what I wanted. Of course, I had to put a little twist on it. Why do a white tub when you can do a black tub? And so that is exactly what we did. We put this amazing clawfoot tub in here and we put a gorgeous French country inspired chandelier up above and we left the medallion up there and it's just all those elements just started to really come together. The one thing that I really felt like it was missing though was an amazing piece of artwork. And that is where you really see that adventure, that, that punch of I need to wake up every day and be reminded of the adventurous life that we've had. And then we started adding a little bit of softness. I actually found this amazing table recently at a thrift store and it's so perfect because it does have that French country vibe. But of course we've added some modernness to it. We've got, um, here, let me take you over here. In order for me to actually show you this little spot, I'm gonna have to get in the tub. <laughs> if you guys have hung around here for long, you know I actually use this tub every single day. I've actually never taken a shower in the shower. So I love having the little handle that I can just clean my hair and my son loves this tub as well. It's his favorite place. And wait until you see what's on the other side of this, you're gonna understand why this is used every day and we love it. But as you can see, I've added some modern elements in here and um, just this sort of gold. Again, it has that sort of Parisian feel to it with the gold, but it's practical. And I think that that's what a bathroom has to be. I've got my shampoo and my conditioner. I've got this really cool and amazing smelling body cleanser and bath. I put this into the bath water. It smells so good. If you have products that maybe don't come in pretty bottles or that maybe you don't want everybody to see or that you don't want to actually have to look at yourself. This is a great way to make it cute. I also have my face soap. It comes, it actually, I cheated a little bit. I love this bottle and I liked the face wash, but my favorite face wash is actually a French brand and I refill this one. Don't tell them. <laughs> and then I just keep a really cute little tray sitting here with a cute razor that looks good sitting out and my absolute favorite rose 
hair and scalp moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's amazing. I get a very dry scalp. I have very dry skin in general and I'm super sensitive to what products I can use. So when I find a brand that works for me, I stick with it. And this Aesop stuff is amazing. Um, let me take you over to the, oh, let me show you down here in front of the tub real quick. I really like to have beautiful things in front of the tub area. It's just practical. Um, I always have my glasses sitting here. I actually wear these um, in the evenings when I've taken my contacts out. And it's nice to just have them close by. Usually I'm watching TV and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So I always make sure my glasses are here. And if you remember, we mentioned in one of the past videos about my favorite French things. Well, this soap is one of them. So I actually do use it and I have it in a cute little dish. And sitting underneath it is the cutest Chanel washcloth. Oh my gosh, could you just die? It's so amazing. So it's got their little emblem on it and it's a gift from one of my friends. And um, it's just beautiful. So those are just sitting here, I've got a little bit of wood and I think that just gives it that French country kind of vibe. Um, and of course we've got some crisp white towels that sit here and um, I just think all of it kind of ties in together to really mix those different genres together in this crazy kind of way that I just really love. Now, over here in the original design, this was actually a separate vanity and I ripped the entire thing out. I tried putting my makeup table here for quite some time, but as I realized it was too far away from the window and I really like having natural light when I get ready, so instead, I had this empty space. I put my dresser in here for a while. I've tried a couple things. I didn't want to fill this space with built-in cabinetry. And I realized that that makes me completely weird. It's just, I wanted more of a living room space. I wanted it to feel, I've always got my nose stuck either in a book or I'm on Pinterest or I'm on Instagram or I'm watching a travel show, or I'm watching an old movie, and the bathrooms so often in the French country, they don't have built-in cabinets. And I really wanted this to feel like a living room that had developed over time. And the funny thing is, is that is exactly what it has become. It has had several different iterations, but in the end, the one that felt most natural to me was this version. I am thrilled beyond words with this version. I'm freaking out. My neighbors gave me this cabinet. It was originally a, a pine color. And I used the Euro Gray color, which was the original color after I took down the wallpaper in here. I painted all the walls that gray color. And as it turns out, it was too drab feeling for me. However, I loved the color. So it was kind of fun to bring the color back into the bathroom. I don't prime, I don't sand. I've got a video on that if you want to see what I do. I do it all wrong. I always hang something here, but you want to see what's really fun? Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, I haven't finished the inside of this yet. Um, and here you can see the natural pine color. Um, but we've actually got a TV stuck in here. And I haven't really done much up here except for just put some towels been the coronavirus and all that stuff's been happening right now, so I haven't had a chance to like really think through baskets for in there, but, um, and they had taken this out to put a TV in there before, and ours is a little bit smaller, so I need to come up with some sort of solution for back there, but oh my god, there's a TV in the bathroom in this really cool French-inspired cabinet, and my son will literally sit in that tub and eat his dinner and watch this. Now, that would be fun enough, right? Like that's, that's enough fun. However, we decided to make this a little party cabinet. So down here, <laughs> I shouldn't be showing you this, um, there is champagne. And usually, if we haven't eaten them all, there are strawberries. Um, my daughter stole the little tray because she was having a little picnic with her girlfriends. So chocolate covered strawberries were the last thing that were in here. We're so evil, aren't we? <laughs> I just think that if you can have a little bit of adventure at home, then why wouldn't you? I love this. Up in these baskets up here, I found these at Target. I love these baskets. They're so good. And they're just full of extra toilet paper and um, they're getting a little bit low now, but you know, we're starting to see toilet paper reappear and uh, you know, I think we'll be all right. Um, down here, I also have another basket. 
that I use to just throw um, towels and you know laundry into. So it's nice that that's there. However, I want to show you one more little secret. You guys are always asking me where my practical stuff is. Well, there is actually practical stuff here. Um, so there's the iron and the steamer, and then the non-practical, <laughs> which is the Nespresso machine. And I've got my cups that are washing because it's the weekend. So I usually just will grab them and throw them in there um, and then bring them back later. But I've got the milk frother and the Nespresso machine. I did warn you guys that I'm obsessed with Nespresso. Um, I really should get a job with them because I, I could sell their machines all day long. And I've got a little bit of their pods sitting down here. Right here in the center of the room is this gorgeous ottoman. Now I know a lot of people would put a table right here in the middle. But again, I wanted this room to feel like a living room. And so I put the ottoman here and there's usually a blanket here because I'm always cold. And I will sit with my son while he's eating his dinner in the tub, <laughs> watching his favorite cartoons on the TV. And I usually have a magazine or a book. I actually clean them up. Do you want me to show you what I was, what I was reading last night? Let me go get it. Okay, um, I was sitting reading the French Country Cooking Cookbook, which is incredible. I, I don't know if I've loved a cookbook more than this one. I, I'm just blown away by it. But I also have in the French kitchen with kids, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, this is awesome. And I've got a whole bunch of little papers stuck in here for all the recipes that I plan to try, if not this week, at least in the next few days. So I'll show you the shower. I never showered in there, but I'll show it to you. This is actually my husband's shower. I'm sure that if he was here, he would make some sort of joke which would utterly humiliate me. But thankfully at the moment, he's not here. He's alive and well out in the garden, so we don't have to feel guilty. <laughs> I'm sure he would make some comment about himself being naked or something and we would all laugh and I would shake my head. Um, but I actually, other than coming in here to clean up after him, I've never actually showered in the shower because I use the tub every single day. So when I did this shower, I knew that I wanted a modern feel to it, but I actually did this amazing crackle finish subway tile because it has the modern look to it and the shape, but it's got this really cool vintage kind of feel and that's what I wanted. And again, I did a very um, country kind of feel, something that just felt like it belonged in some sort of chateau in France. I just, I wanted that kind of feeling. Now I did have them build this really great shelf right here and you can see that my husband uses the Aesop products as well. And I put this cute little dish in here. I mean, gosh, actually see that he actually uses this. Um, this really cute little dish. It's just a little vintage fine. Technically, it's a relish dish. Um, but I put the little artisanal soap. I talked about these recently as well. I love artisanal soaps. And these are the ones that are made in Marseille. Savon de Marseille. Um, the patchouli one. So we actually, this is actually who we are. It's a, it's, you know, we don't say, oh, hey, you should buy this soap. And then we don't actually use it. Like we really use these things. So I, th I think that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I've got these adorable little, um, I think they're technically cranes and they're just the cutest little hooks. Um, one of my friends was like, oh, why, why would you have like an animal like, for your hook? I'm like, because it's cute and I like the whimsy of it and it feels adventurous. I don't know, I just think that they're really fun. So normally there's towels hanging here, but I don't wanna like gross you out. <laughs> TMI, right? Like Towels go here. <laughs> Over on this side, we have this amazing double vanity. So originally it was a single sink and a long vanity that you could sit at, but I just liked the idea of being able to use this room in a different way. And so what I did is I put a double sink in here. I chose this beautiful dresser-like piece. It's actually from Restoration Hardware. I couldn't find a dresser that I liked fast enough to actually do a built-in dresser, but if you can do that, I think that's awesome. Again, I just wanted it to feel like a living room. And I went with something really classic for my faucets. I just like to have these kind of classic things mixed with something modern. So I also included classic mirrors, but they have a little bit of a clean line to them, which I think helps them to feel a little bit more modern. And the lights are also very classic, but again, I just kept things very simple and clean line. The way I added in some modernness was I added in, again, some of my favorite Aesop soap. 
this really cool, amazing mirror that was made by one of my very dear friends in Copenhagen. And I've got modern artwork up here. Well, kind of modern, because one of them is a little bit of like a, he's like, I don't know, he's like an oil painting kind of thing. I found that at the Paris market. So it, and again, it just always goes back to this idea of bringing home adventure and helping every day feel a little bit magical. And I mean, that's a DIY piece of artwork and then an inexpensive piece of art that I found on my travels. Um, of course, I've got my sea salt and lavender little candle and I've got my little, my favorite little plate that I bought in Paris from Astier de Villette. And I keep this really cute little pair of vintage earrings in there or whatever I'm wearing that day. Whatever I've taken out will go into that little dish. I found this really cool vase at Pottery Barn and I just like that it feels a little bit old and aged because the walls are very white in this room in case you didn't notice. So I want to add something that feels very approachable and to balance the modernness of the white walls with something that feels kind of earthy and you know just again just approachable. So um, I think keeping some really beautiful white linens in here also keeps this feeling very modern and um, I always store I always try to store things in plain sight that I use every day because then it just makes my life so much easier. One of my final little things that I'll show you that you guys ask me about all the time are my doors. I, yes, I went for it. I wanted a little bit of drama. I wanted something that felt really modern. Um, I definitely see this a lot in Parisian homes. It's something that they do quite a bit. I think they probably do it in French country ones, but they don't do it with black. That's definitely a very Parisian kind of thing. But I absolutely love the fact that I painted not only the trim, but the door and all the trim around the windows, all in this um, high gloss black. It's so cool, isn't it? This is Limousine Leather by Bear. And back here is our little um, toilet closet. And um, that's kind of boring, but that's what's there. Well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the tour of my French country modern master bathroom. I know I've had a blast getting to show you guys. I hope it'll encourage you to add a bit of adventure into your own home and think about the places that you've been, places that you hope to go, and how you can incorporate those elements into a design that just really feels and, and really just captures that sense of adventure into your own house. Oh, I know, I love it. And I hope that you do too. And um, I hope you'll hit subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow us on Instagram and become a follower on Facebook at our Inspired by V group. And if you would like to be a part of the live, it will be Friday night at 6 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. And we'll be doing that through the Facebook group, The Inspired by V. So be sure you join in for that, it'll be really fun. We're gonna be making some French food as we go along during the week. We'll be chatting about more of that, and so it's gonna be really fun. So thank you so much for joining us, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>